Good morning, children. Welcome back to the lesson Silk Road, written by Nick Middleton. Yesterday we discussed about the theme of uh, the lesson, that is uh, the narrator's uh, journey towards Mount Kailash through Silk Road, a difficult road, because there are many such. Uh, mountain passes okay and his intention is to reach mount kalash and to complete the kora that is a pilgrimage right and uh, he set off his journey with satan in his car and before he started his journey, he was gifted a sheepkin's coat by Lamo. Okay. And uh, Satan knew the shortcut, a route that would uh, take them to the southwest almost directly towards Mount Kailash. And it would uh, involved crossing several fairly how mountain passes okay and uh, they could see a few gazelles and wild ass on their way and uh, it was a beautiful scene okay i think there we stopped and uh, let us continue with the text today As hills started to push up once more from the rocky wilderness, we passed solitary drug bus tending their flocks, sometimes men, sometimes women. These uh, well-wrapped figures would pause and stare at our car, occasionally waving as we passed. When the track took us close to their animals, the sheep would take evasive action wearing away from the speeding vehicle dear children of the narrator and satan both are heading towards mount kalesh and on the way they could see many drug bus shepherd uh, what drugs was were doing they were tending their flocks means group of sheep okay uh, sometime men uh, among these drug bars uh, both genders male and female men and women both are there and uh, they are well wrapped means well covered with that uh, sheep co I mean, sheepskin coat okay sometime uh, they would pose and uh, would stare look at our car and occasionally they will wave their hands while they were passing and uh, when their car reaches this uh, sheep, the sheep would make uh, evasive action, means escaping action, wearing away, moving away from the speeding vehicle. We passed nomads, dark tents pitched in splendid isolation, usually with a huge black dog, a Tibetan mastiff standing guard. This beast would uh, cock their great big heads when they become aware of our approach and fix us in their sights. As we continued to draw closer, they would explode into action, speeding directly towards us like a bullet from a gun and nearly as fast. And next, after this uh, drug bus, uh, narrator's attention goes to the Tibetan Mastiff. It's a dog, okay? It's a breed of dog, Mastiff and uh, uh, the nomads, these uh, shepherd people, they are uh, making use of this uh, dog as a guard. Okay, for each tent there would be a mastiff, Tibetan guard, and these animals would uh, cock their great big head when they become aware of uh, anybody's approach. Means when Arthur and Satan approaching them, uh, they would come attacking just like a, a bullet from a gun. And they would explode into action means barking okay okay so children please uh, make a note of uh, all those animals like starting from gazelles and wild animals now mastiff 
and these shaggy monsters okay what do you mean by this shaggy shaggy monsters okay shaggy means uh, thick fur of tibetan dogs the thick fur of you can write down thick fur of tibetan dog that's why shaggy monsters uh, they are like just like monsters with long fur uh, blacker than the darkest night and the color also is black and uh, it is compared to the darkest than the darkest night usually wore bright red collars and these dogs would be given red collars uh, and uh, barked furiously with massive jaws and their jaws are very broad and uh, wide massive big jaws and would bark heavily they were completely fearless of our vehicle shooting straight into our path causing satan to break and swerve to change the direction to break and swerve the direction so these dogs would attack the car the dog would make a chase of for a hundred meters or so before easing off okay and these dogs would also chase the car having seen us off the property i mean when they disappear or the the sight of the car become fainter then only they would stop barking uh, i mean uh, they should uh, move away from their property it wasn't difficult to understand why ferocious tibetan mastiffs became popular in china's imperial court royal court that's why these dogs are taken to the imperial court because of that uh, faithfulness and uh, dedication okay uh, as hunting dogs brought along the silk road in ancient times as tribute from tibet and these dogs are taken from tibet as a tribute by the chinese people actually this uh, silk road is connecting uh, china through himalaya okay that is why it uh, is expressed here uh, that is why the title of uh, this article is given silk road okay because the author is traveling through that silk road old silk route uh, in the himalayas that touches tibet to reach manasarovar the lake okay dear children now we'll continue with that again Uh, by now we could see snow capped mountains gathering on the horizon we entered a valley where uh, the river was wide and mostly clogged with ice brilliant white and glinting in the sunshine the trail hugged its uh, bank twisting with the meanders as we gradually gained height and the valley sides closed in okay uh, actually the narrator is very keen about all the things uh, around him okay now he is uh, his attention goes to the snow capped mountain the the mountain is uh, capped with the uh, uh, snow okay gathering on the horizon uh, we entered a valley where the, the, finally they entered a valley where the river was wide okay the size of the river is wide and mostly clogged with ice and there also they could see ice clogging ice in the uh, river brilliant color of the clogged ice is white glinting shining in the sunshine the trail okay uh, the trail uh, the passage hugged its bank twisting with uh, meanders what do you mean by meanders small water logged area meanders okay as we gradually gained height and the valley sides closed in when they entered i mean finally uh, the valley sides closed in the turns became sharper and the ride bumpier means the road is not uh, means plain or you can or smooth uh, there are sharper bends sometimes and uh, bum- bumps are there bumpier satan now in third gear as we continue to climb okay when the climb is there we have to reduce the gear i mean th- the satan uh, shifted the gear to the third gear the track moved away from the icy river laboring through uh, steeper slopes that spotted big rocks daubed with uh, patches of bright orange lichen uh, 
beneath the rocks hunks of snow clung on in the near permanent shade i felt the pressure building up in my ears held my nose snorted and cleared them we struggled around sorry struggled round another tight bend and said then stopped he had opened his door and jumped out of his seat before i realized that uh, realized what was going on snow said daniel as he too excited sorry exited the vehicle letting in a breath of cold air as he did so so dear children here they are uh, explaining about the difficulties that they faced while traveling through okay actually there was a climb and uh, they shifted the gear to third and uh, they were laboring through the steeper slopes and uh, and beneath the rocks there are hunks of snow clung closely fitted on the permanent shade near permanent shade okay and that caused the narrator to have a closer of his ears i mean pressure was building up in his ears and he and uh, he snorted out something choked him his uh, throat and he snorted out and cleared them and both of them struggled around another tight bend bend of the road and uh, suddenly the driver said then stop the vehicle and got out of the seat and when enquired he said snow because heavy snow was there okay fine a swath of the white stuff lay across the track in front of us stretching for maybe 15 meters before it petered out and the dirt trail reappeared the snow continued on either side of us smoothing the abrupt bank on the up slope side the bank was too steep for a vehicle to scale so there was no way around the snow patch i joined daniel as uh, satan stepped onto the encrusted snow and began to slither and uh, slide forward stamping his uh, foot from time to time to ascertain how sturdy it was i looked at my wrist watch we were at uh, 5210 meters above sea level okay children a swath swath means a long area of white stuff lay across means everywhere snow is there ice is there so white stuff lay across the track okay the road track in front of them stretching and spreading for uh, maybe 15 meters it is stretched up to 50 meters before it petered petered means disappeared petered out okay you can write down disappeared and the dirt trail path trail means path dirt means that is full of dirt trail reappeared again that means actually the color of the soil that that's why it is used here dirt trail other area it is full of snow that is why white area white trail dirt means soil has been reappearing for them the snow continued on either side of us now the snow is on both of the uh, both side of the uh, dirt trail dirt path i mean mud path smoothing the now it has become smoothened i mean smoothing the abrupt bank on up slope side the bank was too steep for our vehicle to scale it is steep to scale means to climb so it would be difficult for the vehicle to climb when there is ice and, and snow it will become very smooth so there was no way around to the snow patch then finally author i mean narrator joined daniel as said and stepped on to the encrusted snow and began to slither 
and slide forward stamping his foot from time to time to ascertain to ensure how sturdy it was actually uh, there are three i mean author his friend joint jo uh, jo daniel joint okay daniel and satan satan was uh, ensuring i mean checking the depth of that uh, snow okay with his feet stamping on them to, uh, how sturdy how strong it was i looked at my wrist watch and finally when the narrator looked at his wrist watch he could find that they were above 5210 meters from the sea level next the snow didn't look too deep to me but the danger wasn't its depth daniel said so much as it is icy top layer if we slip off the car could turn over he suggested as we so said then grab handful of dirt means mud and fling them across the frozen surface we both pitched in and when the snow was spread with soil daniel and i stayed out of the vehicle to lighten say then slowed he backed up and drove towards the dirty snow eased the car on to its icy surface and slowly drove its length without apparent difficulty so all the three i mean daniel the narrator and satan continued their journey with much difficulty what is the difficulty here the snow snow is a road block for them now and uh, on the snow they cannot drive so what uh, did daniel and daniel do daniel said so if we slip off what would happen the car could turn over and uh, they would meet uh, their death that is understood he says that as so we saw satan grab what was satan doing he was grabbing a handful of dirt or soil and fling them means throwing them on the frozen surface of uh, the road i mean snow so that he could get some grip so in order to help satan uh, daniel and uh, the narrator came out of the vehicle and now satan slowly uh, negotiating the dirty snow okay eased the car onto its icy surface and slowly drove its length without much difficulty 10 minutes later we stopped at another blockage not good sir satan announced as he jumped out again to survey the scene again after 10 minutes they faced another difficulty or another blockage again the driver satan came out of the vehicle to ensure the road condition this time he decided to try and drive round the snow the slope was steep and studded with major rocks means uh fixed with studded here means fixed with uh, rocks dangerous rocks that is why silk road okay i told you silk road is something uh, difficult i mean difficult road uh, major rocks but somehow said and negotiated them his four wheel drive vehicle lurching from one obstacle to the next what is lurching here you can write down lurching means moving in an irregular way moving in an irregular way because vehicle is moving in a irregular way from one obstacle to the other okay from one hindrance to the other in so doing he cut off one of the hairpin bend I mean he negotiated one of the hairpin bend regaining the trail regaining the trail means path further up where he where the snow had not drifted so actually it was a difficult uh, time for satan to negotiate the car Uh, avoiding the snow i checked my watch again as we continued to climb in the bright sunshine we crept past 5400 meters and my head began to throb horribly i took 
gulps from my water bottle which is supposed to help a rapid ascent. Actually the author was not feeling well now because uh, when he reached that height above the sea level that is 5400 uh, meters uh, his head started throbbing but you know throbbing the movement like throb of the heart okay the twitching of muscles is throbbing okay pulsating horribly and he felt uh, like uh, taking gulps of water and that uh, uh, gave some relief to him okay children now we will continue with the lesson tomorrow before that before we conclude for the day let us uh, make an immediate uh, review of what we have discussed dear children we started with uh, uh, the, I mean with the, the drug bus means uh, uh, the narrator met a few drug bus both male and female uh, with their fox flocks of sheep and uh, the sheep uh, made evasive action on seeing the car okay and veering away from the speeding vehicle then they happened to see uh, tibetan mastiff mastiff that is a breed of dog and a very uh, strong dog with a heavy head and uh, massive jaws barking uh, with their shaggy jaws okay that's why this kind of animal i mean dogs were taken by the chinese uh, taken to chinese uh, uh, royal courts through the silk road in ancient time okay uh, afterwards uh, author and uh, his friend satan and daniel all were facing heavy snow on the way and uh, satan had to jump out of his seat uh, a few times to check the snow okay and sometime both uh, daniel and uh, the narrator had to vacate i mean the car only to ease the car to climb the uh, sharp slopes okay and there could be frequent blockages and all the time satan got out of the car and even he had to grab a few i mean handful of uh, dirt and uh, he would fling on the frozen surface to negotiate his car and uh, uh, he happened to negotiate a hairpin bend and his uh, car came out of the main trail and finally he was able to manage his car okay and finally when the height of uh, the mountain reached 5400 above the sea level Otho felt uh, his uh, head throbbing heavily and he took gulps of water to ease himself okay children today we will stop here and we will continue with uh, the story i mean the article tomorrow have a nice day ahead